So here we're going to look at the interior angles of a polygon, and interior being the inside of it. So we have a special rule that says the interior angles in a polygon will add up to... Get my pen going. Will add up to n minus 2 times 100. Now n is the number of sides. So, for instance, in a triangle, n is equal to 3, because there's 1, 2, 3 sides all the way around. For this shape, we would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so you'd say n is equal to 7. And to calculate how many degrees are inside of it, for the triangle you would go 3 minus 2 times 180, which is just 180. 3 minus 2 is 1, times 180 is 180. And for this one, our n in this case is 7, so we'd say 7 minus 2 times 180. And when you calculate that out, oops, you get 900 degrees. So again, you replace the n with however many sides you have in the triangle. And this will tell you, yeah, stop doing that, this will tell you how many degrees are going to be inside of the shape if you were to add up all the angles inside of a polygon. So let's take a look at an example. Um, maybe we will do uh, an interesting one. We'll do E here as an example. So first thing I have to do is figure out what kind of polygon I have here. And let's just count up the sides. I've got one, two, three, four different sides of this shape. So n is equal to four. So I would use my rule. Instead of n, I'll write four minus two times 180 is equal to 360. So I know inside of that shape, I'm supposed to have 360 degrees. So to figure out what x is, well, see what I've already used up. 360 minus 40 minus 80 and minus 30. So we get 300, oh sorry, not 300, we get 210 degrees. So x here, the unknown angle, is going to be 210 degrees because inside that polygon all of those angles should add up to 360. And for some of these shapes you might have a much bigger number of angle, or amount of angles, depending on how many sides. So you can see this one is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 sided shape. So we get on that one we would have n is equal to 7, and then using your rule, which says n minus 2 times 180, we would say 7 minus 2 times 180 to figure out how many are going to be in their total, and then you can subtract out from there. So it's not too bad at the basic level there. Just remember that you have to count up the number of sides on your polygon first, and then calculate it.